Here's a prickly, prickly pear. Good food here in Oklahoma. Usually I just grab some sticks like this and twist them off. And then you got fine hairs on them. And skin them back. And uh, they got really a fine hair in there. And uh, let me stick a stick through it. And support this thing. And I would take them. Skin it off, get all our hairs off, and you open this up. But it is good to eat. You can put it in a fire. A lot of times I'll use my flint knife and uh, open it up, cut it, skin it back. Uh, once you get it peeled back here, it's a little tough. Not real bad. But better fried in a fire. You can throw it in a fire and fry it. I'm just going to get a small piece here. I just, and open it up. You know, watch them fine hairs. They'll get you. Skin it back. Anyway. Uh, get a piece of that meat in here right there good to eat you definitely don't want to get them hairs on your tongue liberty fine hairs you need to really go eat it's good young the bigger ones you want to cook they're taking your time you know skinning all that and get a lot, a lot of good food source I like them. I've been snacking on them for a long time, but the bigger ones, the uh, tough, younger ones, are the best. So, I'll go to a new plant now. Here's a Oklahoma thistle plant, which I like to snack on. They're pretty good. I like them. They've got good flavor. But I just took my flint knife and uh, scrape it's got thorns and uh, cut me off the piece the tender part you can, the whole stem can be ate or eaten and uh, you get back some of these thorns show y'all but I like this part it's tender and get the fiber but if you open it up in the tough fiber it's a lot easier to be eaten and it does taste good Yeah, that's part right in here. My favorite part. But it can be all all eaten up. The leaves. Everybody don't like the leaves. There's too much to do, but we cut off one of the leaves. Got a lot of thorns. But you can bend them over fold it like that and eat but make better salad but they are eatable or edible I like them like I said the best parts are I like from the flour and the stem the whole stem could be scraped cut up cooked not too much cooking but it's a little cooking it can be Hey, just just like that right there. Here's an Oklahoma yarrow plant. And uh, it's got good properties. Pull it up. The plant can be dried, hanged upside down in a closet. 
and dried and get the lead and uh, that way uh, when they're brittle boil them I usually use like a when it's dry I use about a handful of it boil it in water drain it drink it my temperature be gone toothaches the root it's got some amazing property you can chew them you got toothache use your toothache you get cut, leave, rub them, mash them, get the oil, you know, put it on a wound, stop your bleeding. Even the hair, it's good to rub it on you from keep mosquitoes away. But it's a, I call it it's a medicine plant. That made my tongue go numb. That'll make a toothache go numb. But it's a good plant, good medicine plant. I'm gonna go look for another plant. Got right here, see the same white flowers. I think it's yarrow, but huh, look at the leaves. They're wide, not feathery. They ought to talk about this plant more, it's an Oklahoma plant. I've heard people that grabbed this plant doing yard work and an hour later started vomiting because the oils in the plant got into their body. I hear the leaves that kill you. If you eat that leaf, you're dead. Poison hemlock. I'll have pictures of close-ups on this this plant too as well. Because it can be like yarrow or it don't got no black dot in the middle. Like Queen Anne. Queen Anne, I have a black dot in the middle, like a carrot, you know, the roots, take, you know, it's a carrot plant, but that's one you want to, want to know your business when you come to wild herbs and plants, this one here, yeah, deadly, 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 it kill you, and it grows all over in town, everywhere, so I'm going to put another, another good eating plant in Oklahoma, Kingfisher County. another tree it's a hackerberry tree so I like nibbling on these berries so I'll have a close-up picture on them as well I dropped that one there's another one they're good I, I like the flavor of them but it's a hackerberry and uh, the bark distinctly it's a like, I can see it there. But the berries go all over. You can see them during the winter. A lot of animals love them. They're everywhere here. Got a big seed. It's a I like the flavor of them. The hackerberry. Hackerberry tree. Deadly lion plant. It's another plant here that could be eaten like it is. Well, out in the wild, not around town highways, but hmm. I like it. I'm gonna go over and look at this mulberry tree. Check that out. I'm on my way to the mulberry tree, but I've seen this poke salad. The purple, smooth, stem. Later, I have purple berries. You want to boil this plant three times before you eat it. You boil it. But, you know, this is what most people know about wild food. Poke, poke salad. It's good. I like it with eggs. Scrambled eggs. Anyway, let's go to that mulberry tree. This is a mulberry tree. And uh, here's one of my, my berries where I dropped it in dark. There's another one. This is another good plant. It tastes good. I love the taste of mulberry. Another one right here. Which I'll do a close up for the picture later. Have it in here. But it's a mulberry.
Here's some wild sage. It's good. Yeah, some people use it for seasoning, but a lot of times we'll use this plant and it's uh, ten plants and sweat lodge purification. Get some poison out of it. It's a good thing to sweat. Work hard and sweat or take a good sweat and sweat. Here's some Oklahoma yellow yellow dock. You can recognize it by the little bit yellow. It's like a medicine. It's a medicine plant. Leaves can be boiled. It's like you do a uh, poke salad for greens. A lot of people used to smoke this for like the old tobacco a long time ago. The seasons of it. But you dig that root up. And uh, it's yellow. And uh, it can, it's, a, it's a herbal medicine. It's good for the liver and and so and such but you know the greens the greens are good I'll be pulling them like you do poke salad as most do around here in Oklahoma like poke salad it's a big old leather leaf but it's a good another plant to know I'm gonna go look for another one